Hi! In this video I'm going to show you how to use the main tools of Snapseed to do some simple edits but really effective edits on your photographs. So I've opened up a photograph in Snapseed that I want to edit. The first thing I'm going to do is um, look all around the photograph and see if there's anything that needs to be removed. Okay so at the top there um, is a, a bit of a bush that I want to get rid of. So I'm going to go to the healing brush by going to tools healing and I'm going to zoom into this bush up here and I'm just going to start removing it. Now something as big as that bush will take a little bit of time using the healing tool to get rid of it but have a little play. You'll, you'll work out what to do by playing with it. I'm just getting rid of a few more things. So just get rid of that and get rid of that. Squidge it over there a bit, zoom in a bit more, okay. And now if I zoom back out, if I spent a bit more time, um, you will see that the bush is gone. Now that is one thing, I would recommend spending more time than I did using the healing brush to get rid of little minor things like that. All right, the second thing is, if I wanted to keep this as a colour image, I can do a couple of things to the image to make the colours really pop out. Okay, so I'm going to go to tools and I'm going to go to tune image and I can make the brightness a little bit brighter if, if I need to. I can scroll down with my finger across the screen and it opens up all these other options. I can go to saturation and that makes the colours really pop out. Now that would be enough for a simple edit to just really make the colours pop out of your um, photograph. Okay. But I don't want to do a simple edit. I want to do a little bit more complicated edit just to show you a few more techniques. So I've just clicked on the cross button just to show you some more. I'm going to go into tools. Instead of going into tune image, I'm going to go into selective. What selective allows me to do is pick out parts of the image that I want to tune. So for example, there's a bit down the bottom underneath um, the plant there, which is um, looks like a big plastic bag or a big piece of plastic. And it's diverting my attention away from the, the beautiful flower. Okay, this is actually an artichoke head. How beautiful is that? If I scroll down and go to saturation, I can just edit that particular part of the image, just that bit. So I've reduced the saturation of the colour down from just that part. So I'll show you how I did that again. There's a plus symbol down the bottom. You tap it. You put that anywhere on the screen that you want to tune so i'm going to tap where the purple is on the top of the artichoke head and i'm going to scroll down to find saturation and then i'm going to scroll across to bring the saturation up now too far makes it look unnatural but i can just do it a little bit to just bring out those colors i could do it again plus symbol go into the sky and i can make the brightness a little bit brighter just to get rid of anything out that sky that might not be a nice white sky if i'm happy with that I can press tick and I can go to export and save. OK, um, one other way that you can use Snapseed to edit is by making it black and white. So I'm going to go into tools and I'm going to go to black and white tool and it gives me a perfectly nice black and white picture without me having to do anything. But if I scroll my finger across the screen, I can make the brightness a little bit brighter. If I scroll up, I can choose the contrast. And it can really bring out the cut too far makes it look unnatural sometimes it is a cool effect if i go too far the other way um, it starts looking a bit grainy and washed out but have a little play with the settings that has really brought out some of the detail in that press tick once you're happy go to export and save to your device okay so you can use snapseeds to bring out the colors you can do an overall change for the whole picture or you can do a selective change or you can change it to black and white and toggle with some of the filters in there. Have fun!